We are now going to work with a rotation on patty paper. The key idea is that this is a turn and that we need a pivot point. So the P word for rotation is pivot point. We have our triangle drawn on patty paper. We have our pivot point drawn. Now we need to pick a degree for our turn and we're just going to say 110 degrees. I don't like to go 90, 180, 270. Things tend to hide when we do that. So we need to draw a line to one of the corners. I'll just go to A because it's the closest. From the pivot point. So pivot point to a vertex. That is where we're going to make our 110 degree angle. So take the protractor, drop the crosshair on the pivot point, line the zero line up on our line. Let's put a mark at 110. Now if you notice we have zero, 180, we have two different 110s. We have one here and one over here. Look at where you're going from. Are you going from 180 to 110 or are you going to go actually 110 degrees? We're starting at zero so we want to open it up to 110. So put the tick mark over there. And draw a line to there to actually make the 110 degree angle. So this is 110 degrees. That's how we're going to turn this. So now with patty paper, we get another piece and we trace. Trace the triangle, trace the pivot point, and one of the lines. Now it's going to help if you actually put a pin in the pivot point. so that we can actually turn it on there. And we'll hold it there in a second. So, trace A, B, C, A, B, C, and the line, because that's what we need. Now, turn it 110 degrees. So turn it till the line lines up, and that, Right there is our new, well, here's our old, here's our original A, B, and C. And here is our new A prime, B prime, C prime. We've turned it 110 degrees from here over to here. As you notice, the triangle is changing orientation. B is pointed up, now B is pointed out to the left. So that we did a 110, 110 degree counterclockwise. Counterclockwise is against the clock, going left. Clockwise is going to the right. So, draw a triangle. Draw the angle you want. Trace. The triangle, trace the first line and the pivot point. Use a pin so you have something to pivot on, and then turn yourselves that 110 degrees or whatever angle you want. And then that is what rotation looks like.